Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's an actor and producer best known for his role on TV One's popular drama, ATL Homicide. He joins us now to chat about the, his small and big screen success, along with his new fashion film, Ooh. Florida Man. Yes. Please welcome to Sister Circle, Ooh. Angelo Diaz. Yes. 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 What was in that scene? Thank you for having me. Thank you. Appreciate yes, it. We love it. What's yes. going on? Everything's blessed. Everything's blessed. Yes. So we're yeah. talking fashion now. Yeah, we're talking Fashion Week. It's a global ambassador for Boutique Fashion Week. So just bringing awareness to what Pretty Fly Society, my mm -hmm. team, and Paul Mitchell the School is doing as far as highlighting boutique designers, highlighting independent distributors and manufacturers, and pairing them with huge brands like Paul Mitchell. That's yeah. actually really huge, because um, of course I've been to Fashion Week a number of times, and being mm -hmm. a brand con um, brand contributor myself for BCBG, when I would go to New York, all you do see are the larger names, yeah. Tom exactly. Ford, exactly. you know, uh, mm -hmm. like I said, BCBG, Hervé, mm -hmm. all of those you would see, but you would never ever really see the smaller independent mm -hmm. designers. Right. You would just never really see that, especially not on the main stages. Mm -hmm. You just wouldn't mm -hmm. see it. So it's really great that you're bringing that to the That's forefront. Dope, man. Mm -hmm. Well, you're just a man of many talents. Clearly, yeah. right? <laughs> you, 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 you played football, for crying out loud. You were yeah. a Navy combat medic, for crying wow. out loud. Wow. Smart an too, so actor, smart. a fashion yeah. contributor. I mean, <laughs> where do you find, the, first of all, where do you find the time to do all this stuff? Well, you don't play football anymore. Uh, then, but you probably yeah. still like to be in sports. Correct. For sure, for what? sure. It's just, uh, I kind of grew up with that, with that work ethic. Mm -hmm. My mom instilled that in me, even though it was hectic moving around a lot in Miami and around uh, Little Havana and different neighborhoods, it was kind of unstable. Mm -hmm. She kept me busy. She mm -hmm. kept me in the books. She kept me, back then it was a boxing ring right. or the baseball or uh, What led anything. you to acting? Um, a kind of adjusting to all those different mm -hmm. scenarios, all those different settings. Right. My life up until uh, adulthood was just constantly moving and constantly adjusting to different scenarios. Mm -hmm. Whether it be Little Havana Barrios where everything is Spanish to Little Haiti where now everything is Creole to Overtown to Carroll City and South Beach well, and then repeat. Well, it's called Windward. Yeah, oh, it's Windward now. It's come on, Windward man, come now. on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's Windward now, that's crazy. That's how they do it, too. Right. That's how they do it, so. Identification. Right. Exactly. Right. 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 It's real. Speak on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm creating some content that's highlighting that. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm working on a project called, I'm working on a project called 305, which kind of tells that epic story of duality. Yeah. And having access to that or seeing that other side enough to be inspired by it, but not having direct access to wow. it. So, mm. yeah, being in a position to create content and reach other young knuckleheads like me, that means a lot to me. Yeah. yeah. For, sure. yeah. For sure. All right, so ATL Homicide, mm -hmm. season three, set to premiere this summer. Yes. What do you think has uh, led to the success of the show? What's been the secret? The detectives. The detectives, straight up. How hard they, they're dedicated to what they do, their crafts, mm -hmm. about bringing closure to families that are grieving. Yeah. One of their best assets was they knew how to connect to people, and they still do to this day. Mm -hmm. They know how to get the truth out of people simply because they know how intimidated somebody is on the other side of that table, mm -hmm. or they can get into the understanding of what the other person is dealing with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also the production quality, the entire crew, they approach it with such a cinematic mindset. I mean, they don't play on set. They're always trying to create new shots and new ways to capture what we're doing. So. Mm -hmm. I contribute all that to success well, to that. Serious set. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 well, me, it's me and Chris Diaz, so you know right. we wild out. Yeah, we have yeah, fun. Yeah, we have fun. Yeah. The shoulders that catch fire. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna sure. bring Chris Diaz up here right. one day. We're gonna That'd talk some stuff. That'd yeah. be good. So you just got back from Sundance right. to promote Zola, and this film was based on some type of Twitter story. Yo, it was crazy. <laughs> have y'all heard about that? No, it was tell like, us. A, it was like so. It was like a Twitter story back in 2015 went crazy viral. What was that about? A stripper goes on like this crazy Florida adventure with mm. this white girl she just meets, and uh, it that becomes... happens every day in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Miami so, Tales. Super Bowl. What just happened? Super Bowl weekend. Right, right. It's only yes. about Super Bowl weekend. It's brought to you by Super Bowl. No, right, no. Right. <laughs> um, so it killed at Sundance. I mean, the Damn. director Janiska Bravo. She did a great job of capturing the story in such a social media sensational way. The storytelling is cinematic. My scene is. Literally insane. When y'all see me in that scene, what you understand I am Chena's son. I'm out here trying to make y'all proud. What are you doing down to this scene? I was doing some acting. I was doing some acting. I was honing my craft. What was your character doing down to this scene? And what inspired it? I'll say this. As soon as I answer the door, you'll know it's me. I'm in straight boxers 
So I got I was, a bald oh. head and a goatee. I was gonna I'm say you was probably naked. What, you right. were probably naked. I ain't go all the way. It's, check out Zola. Most. It'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to A24. Right. Shout out to Zola. So let's get back to Florida, man. Yeah. Talk gotcha. a little bit more about that. Right. So it's a project. fashion film I'm working on. Captures more the story of duality. Uh, Florida Man is this crazy essence where Shine. they're always doing something Ooh, crazy. Mm, they're uh, saying like that, right? Yeah. Wilder, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's kind of like uh, Ocean's Eleven meets Mayhem from the Allstate commercials wow. vibes, where it's kind of transcending the mayhem Florida Man is known for and the chaos in the news into something with political aspirations, something that he can uh, bring back as far as initiatives or actually change something. But we use that platform to tell a crazy fashion story and highlight style and. Just do some groundbreaking storytelling. Mm. That's what I'm all about. So, mm. Mm. and we're premiering at Boutique Fashion Week. It's going to be an awesome moment for the so team. When so, when is Boutique Fashion Week? And where is it kicking off? Yeah, it's in Atlanta. The first one is going to be in Atlanta. We're mm. going to travel. It'll be San Francisco in September, um, but it's going to be at Paul Mitchell the School. They're mm. shutting the whole school down nice. for that entire week. Uh, it'll be sponsored there. Everything is going to take place there. The hair and makeup and everything. So, that is shout good. out to Paul Passive. Mitchell the School. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be great. You living your best life. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and your baby picture was so cute, wasn't it? Right, right. I big, can old, tell. big old head. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Again, February that, the 26th though. through the 29th here in the ATL. Let's yeah. give it up one more time. Yeah. This amazing man. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're, course, you're absolutely welcome. All right, yes. coming up next, we talk about the use of black pain for political gain in our full circle. Woo. Man. That's, That's a good deep one. Ball in these streets. <laughs>